Some anti-corruption civil society organizations have kicked against what they described as the perceived use of the platform of the Economic and the Financial Crimes Commission by politicians to fight their political battles. They said this during an emergency press conference on Friday in reaction to a joint press conference by a civil society organization and a group which called itself Co-Guides Unite Against Corruption Coalition. That they said the current case against the former governor of Kogi State is mainly by members of the opposition party in the state. We urge the commission to disregard the suggestion of zero corruption agenda in their press conference today, asking the commission to disobey lawful court orders and apply maximum force by bringing in the military with a view to violently Arresting a suspect, we are repeatedly told by the commission has been investigated for, for white collar crimes. The government would do well to avoid anything that could confirm these suspicions. And the only way to avoid this is by playing by the rules according to Nigeria's criminal justice system and the rule of law to the letter on this will support the commission and the government unconditionally. We are advising the commission not to tow the part of these persons who are pretending as enemy, as friends of the commission, but who are real enemies of the commission because a lot of them will understand are politically motivated by the local politics of Kogi and of, of, of course whatever party um, uh, Mr. Ayabeno belongs to. We are very conscious of that fact. But we want to appeal to the commission not to fall pray for the antics of this character who are pushing and encouraging the commission to employ everyone every means possible by saying at all costs. We're saying rule of law should be followed to the latter. Due process should be followed to the latter. We don't care who Ayabelo is. Yaya Bello is like any other citizen. We have never said at any point in time that Yaya Bello should not be arrested. He should be arrested, but due do, 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 do process should be followed to the latter. When we were saying Baba must go, how much did the current ESG chairman pay us? But he's benefiting from that Baba must go struggle. The current chairman should be careful. He should be very, very careful knowing fully that if he throws the line he's towing, he will surely miss out on the system.